Okay, welcome back. Um, now I'll begin the part two of the parameter study. Again, I recorded the video first and I'm narrating second. Now once your ICM is done with translation, um, you'll want to open up your Fluent. Now we'll say done with translation at the end. This could take quite a while depending on the speed of your computer. For me it took about 10 minutes. Um, so now we open up Fluent and you'll want to import your um, your mesh. So now that that's all loaded up, hit the little file open, click the mesh, and you go to your particular study. So for me it's moving boundary. I was doing the front height test and there it is. So now that that's in, You'll go to, make sure that's all good, pressure based, steady, absolute. I am using a laminar model at the beginning to help converge the results. Um, then we go to boundary conditions. You go to the ground, edit as a moving wall. I'm giving it at the speed of 26.8 meters per second in the negative x direction, so it's coming on in the direction I need it to. And that correlates to a speed of 20 miles per hour at uh, full size. So now we go to the inlet, give it the same magnitude velocity and the same direction. Um, and the outlet needs to be a pressure outlet. Hit OK, hit OK, you're good. Um, reference values, compute from inlet. And reference zone will be fluid. And I'm using air, so I didn't need to change my reference fluid. Solution models, I found simple C works for this particular geometry. Um, you might need to test different uh, ways for your particular geometry. Now I'm changing my cur convergence criterion um, and I'm creating coefficient of lift monitor, select the curves, coefficient of drag monitor, hit print to console and plot, and only hit curves. Now I need to switch the direction of its recording because it's coming in the uh, negative x direction. So now solution in initialization, you go to standard, compute from inlet, hit initialize, um, and then you do your number of iterations. For me, I'll do 500. And we want to watch the residuals. Ooh, that's funky. And the white line at the top is your residual from the finite difference methods equations. Um, and as it gets smaller, it's basically meaning it's converging on a result. Um, there's less variation between each iteration. Um, typically, you want uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 6 or 10 to the negative 7. Now, after that's converged, um, we will open up a turbulent model, and I'll show you how to do that in a future study. Uh, thank you for watching.